Aquarius. First week of May. Aquarius. What can we get about Aquarius for the first week of May? God. Give us a message for Aquarians. First card, death card, four of pentacles. Hierophant, Five of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. I know these are not coming out in reverse. It's just that I could hold my deck this way and they will come just so they're not coming out in reverse. But with also the reverse readings, the thing is, sometimes someone is just holding a deck wrong. I get it some, sometimes with the cards that jump out, but sometimes it's just holding a deck wrong. Ten of Wands. Aquarius. With the death card, Aquarius here. Your life, your life had transformed into into a new state i'll give a few example if you are single you coupled up if you had coupled up you got married or you got engaged like your life had transformed from one stage to another in the recent past or it will soon be so your life had transformed and if you are maybe unaware of many things you came into awakening you opened up spiritually, you started seeing things with your spiritual eye or your third eye, depending on your religion. Your life had transcended from one, or you had moved houses. This could also be physical. You could also have switched houses, like literal moving. And that could also be it. But your life had transcended from one area to another. Like you're not, if, uh, let me say, if for the past year you had been living alone, someone came in and you're living with someone. So your life had changed. It's, 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 uh, it's not in the same way it was before. And that change left you still holding on. Yeah, you, you had not, you are still in that stages where you're crawling slow by slow, you're embracing your new life. You're still not used to it. If you are single, you're not used to being, being in a relationship. So probably you still have, still have these things whereby you used to do when you're single. Maybe you miss them or maybe you miss your old neighborhood. You miss your old friends There's something. Yeah, you are, but this move. Oh, this transition this was spiritually guided like it was meant to happen in your life whether this person is going to stay in your life or not they were meant to be there at that point whether the home you moved in now is your forever home or not you were meant to move in that home so there was something you're meant to learn from it i always say with the hierophant it involves spiritually third eye or this other aspects of our life this this non-physical realm it is it's actually the spiritual realm so this move or this transition that you had gone through the past or if you literally had just lost someone like to death or something from covid diseases whatever it was that was meant to happen with the higher frontier and also it means since god orchestrated that move it means He's also with you, he's guiding you because he he will not put something there that's like he's with you through this transition. You going through loss of something, mourning something, being 
it's a reminder that he's there. You might not see him physically, but he's there. You just have to find a way of getting in touch with him or aligned with, with your creator through meditation, depending on your religion once again. Can't stress this enough. And right now, you still have some conflicting thoughts, some conflicting energies. Whatever this happened, it was massive. It was massive. He, or yeah, or someone came into your life very amazing. Whatever that happened, it was massive. So this loss or this transition, it's guided spiritually. You're still holding on. You have some internal struggles, internal battles within yourself. Sorry about that. And Aquarius, yeah, since I told you spiritually you're guided, like um God knows this. Sometimes it's it feels lonely, like you're alone and no one sees, but God knows. So with the S of Swords it's to new beginnings. God is gifting you with something that is going to be sorry. God is gifting you with something new it seems like you needed it you transitioned from one place to another so this is a beautiful gift of something new and with the s of one something exciting yeah something with that will give you some energy some excitement and i want to say this is love it's love pure love yeah see the best card of the deck this is a marriage card so it's in the near future for you, or it's in the cards. And with the wild card, it's a beauty. It's a beginning of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful journey. So this person, they come in with marriage in mind, or commitment, or to make you happy, to love you beyond your pain, yeah. Or if you transition from being alone to someone, getting married soon, you're getting engaged soon out of the old baggage yeah because if you look at your previous deck a little bit of baggage here so this is just a good confirmation that out of the old baggage in with the beauty new beautiful yeah you're looking good you're looking like self-love is really showing in your face if you're in love love is showing in your face yeah and with the ten of ones here really it's the end of the things that exhausted you the things that just brought you down the wild card here you're beginning something new with the lover's card you could be in love or someone is professing their love to you they soon will someone will soon will profess their love to you and uh, this love confession it alludes to some sort of commitment yes and this is also your your energy too yeah so it's a it's a beautiful card to have beautiful beautiful card to have aquarius beautiful i think aquarius people have been having the nicest readings for a while now exciting new beginnings marriage in the deck or you're moving in with this person you're looking for houses i was hunting now you want to start a new chapter yeah you're making future plans this is um this is one of those steady type of commitments beautiful 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 let's clarify further aquarius so this king of wands mm. eight of cups and king of swords Your future with this person is beautiful. I think with the King of Wands, your person could be a fire sign in touch with their masculine side. Yeah. They wear the heart on the, on the sleeve. They communicate to you. They talk to you. They want to know how you're doing. They want to care for you. They really, really do. I can see this person also walked away from 
something they could have had a bad relationship themselves they were previously wrecked emotionally they walked away from something horrible i think that's why they know how to care well for you do the king of swords here this is your energy aquarius you being very strict very blatant very mature about things The future looks positive. Very good for you. Very, very good. Enjoy. Enjoy this moment. Think you deserve it. That's it.